said, man, if I could ever get to be that kind of person, it'd be a dream come true. I couldn't want any more out of life. A few years later, I earned the right to get promotions to that level and found so many of my heroes in business, their personal lives were a disaster. They were alcoholics and divorced three and four and five times. I just read an article by the author of, of In Search of Excellence, and I saw where he says, I can't find evidence of any successful business person in America that's not tunnel vision, that just doesn't give everything to business. Folks, I, I, I said back then, 15 years ago, that if that's the price you've got to pay to win in business, it's not worth it. 15 years later, a multimillionaire. Folks, I can stand and preach to you that you can't separate your personal life from your business life. God's got to come first. Your family's got to come second. And business has got to come third. And I believe if you have a lousy spiritual life and a lousy personal life, long range, it's going to be devastating to your business. Another thing in building this, this winning attitude. Another, another thing in building this winning attitude in business. I, you, you know, I see tall people make it big in business and short people, dumb people and smart people, fat people and skinny people. But if you cut open the winners in business, I see a heart of a champion. And all these people are competitors and they don't quit. I believe desire and will to win is everything. I don't know why I'm like I am, but my butt's always burning. There's always something say, Art Dad Gummit, you're supposed to go for it. Art Dad Gummit, you're supposed to be somebody. You're supposed to make a difference with your life. What does the $500,000 a year person do? The $50,000 a year person doesn't do. You look at the outside and study those two individuals, everything seems to be the same. They both are the same sex, they both are the same age, they have the same training, the same positions, the same contract, the same fringe benefits. They both are successful, they work hard, they're good family people, make tough commitments. But what's the difference? What does the $500,000 a year person do? The $50,000 a year person doesn't do. He pays the price a little bit more. He works hard and a little bit more. He's loyal to the company a little bit more. He believes in a little bit more. He makes money in a little bit more. He saves money in a little bit more. If you want to win in these United States, you got to be tough and you can't quit. The last thing I'll talk to you about today in building this winning edge is, folks, if you want to win in business, you got to be a leader. Leadership is everything. You show me anything in these United States that win, I'll show you a leader at work. You show me a successful church, Boy Scout troop, club, football team, business, I'll show you something uh, run by a leader. See, see, I, I thought at one time in my life you had to be smart to win. I used to have these smart people that dress so pretty and talk so pretty and use these big words. They just intimidated me. And I said, Arch, you can't ever be that good. Why don't you just throw in the towel and go on back and coach football for a living? And I found two things out about smart people. I think it's almost impossible for a smart person to win in business in America today. Because I find smart people spend their whole lifetime figuring things out. They're always trying to figure out an easier way and a quicker way. And another thing I found out about smart people is they just don't get around to doing nothing. And see, somebody like Art Williams, everybody said, well, he can't do it. And somebody like that can't do it. But he does it. See, folks, I want you to know almost everybody in America almost does enough to win. They almost get there. They almost throw over the hump. They almost have it going. They almost in everything they do, almost is a way of life to almost everybody in America. But the winners do it. What do they do? They do whatever it takes to get the job done. They do it and do it and do it and do it and do it until the job gets done. And then they talk about how great it is to be somebody they're proud of. We need leaders in America who can do it. If you want to become somebody, do it. If you want to go and business for yourself, do it. If you want to become financially independent, do it. I hear too much talk in these United States. Everybody can talk a good game. We need people in America who can do it. I go all over this country with A.L. Williams and I have people say, Art, you, you can count on me. Wonderful. Just do it. All right, I guarantee you this is my last stop. I'm going to win now. Super duper. Just do it. All right, if I could just have one good month and get the ball going, I know I could make it big. Super. Just do it. All right, if I could just pay off this debt, I could really go. Great. Just do it. All right, if I could just sell my house. 
Do it. Uh, but how's they selling? Do it anyway. Uh, Art, I'm not making any money. What can I do? Y you just do it. Uh, do what, Art? You do it and do it and do it. Uh, Art, I guarantee I'm going to win this contest. Super duper. Just do it. Uh, Art, I'm over the hump now. Watch my smoke. Great. Just do it. Uh, Art, I want to make it so bad I can taste it. What I do? Y you just do it. All right, I'm a vice president now. Can I quit doing it? No. Uh, all right, I don't know if I can keep on keeping on. I'm really hurting what I do. Y you just do it. Uh, do what, Art? You do it and do it and do it. Uh, all right, all my life I wanted to be somebody important. Well, what do it then? Uh, all right, I'm going to save money so I don't have to go through this again. Great. Just do it. Uh, all right, I don't feel like I've had enough training. What I do? Y you just do it. Uh, Art, my manager don't give me no help when I do. You just do it. Uh, Art, you don't understand. I was Mr. Everything at my former company. You don't mean I, I have to start off down at the bottom and do it, do you? Yep, you really got to do it. <laughs> Art? Art, what's the primary difference between winners and losers? The, win the winners do it. They do it and do it and do it and do it until the job gets done. And then they talk about how great it is to finally have achieved something unique. And how glad they are that they didn't quit like everybody else. And how wonderful it is to finally be somebody they're proud of. And make a difference with their life. Thank you.